Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the weekly contest 359. Maximize the profit as the salesman. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So this one, you're trying to maximize, well, you know, uh, the, the, the profit, right? So the way you have to think about it, uh, and I'm going to use the drawing board real quick. Let me set up physically as well. Hang on. Uh, but yeah. But basically, the idea is going to be dynamic programming. Uh, longest path in a DAG is already standard-ish canonical um, dynamic programming problem. And therefore, um, to be frank, you should be very familiar with it. Uh, at least if you're doing, or especially if you're doing, um, uh, if you're doing uh, competitive interviews, I think it's still... I mean, I think it comes up often enough, but maybe not as often. I don't know. I don't know. Take it as you will. All right, let me draw some houses. All right. So basically, the idea behind this problem is just that, all right, you have, you know, you can look at a row of houses. You can think about nodes as the space in between the houses. And an offer is just, um, yeah, like if you want to buy, if there's an offer for, for the first which is the sale of house, this would be what it looks like, and it gives you the, uh, that's the cost, which is the money that you get. And you have all these kind of offers. In this case, this is house, so one, uh, two, three, and four, right? Two, three, and four for this offer, and you have some C of two, and so forth, and they overlap, and they kind of offer, and maybe even multiple in the same case, and you have different Cs, right? And then the idea here is to maximize uh, with zero overlap, right? Because you can't sell the same house more than once. At least, at least you can sell legitimately. I guess you can scam people, but but that's not the problem. But if you're scamming people, I leave that up to you. You're smarter than me, then. But though that I'm I'm chuckling a little bit because it reminds me of a uh, of a uh, of an old scam that people used to. I forget who it is like maybe it's beat. Uh, like Barnum was some like famous shows person uh, back in the day would sell uh, the Eiffel Tower. So there's a story about some dude selling Eiffel Tower for money multiple times, even uh, because, you know, uh, uh, presumably for for the scrap metal after the war or something. But uh, yeah, anyway, you could Google that if you if you're curious about that story. But uh, but that's why I remember. But anyway, yeah. So basically, you're trying to get the total maximize. From here all the way to here, and and yeah, and that is just the longest path in the DAG uh, with these costs. Uh, keeping in mind that you can also add a zero cost thing between every adjacent thing because that means because you can say um, another way to phrase it, of course, is just that you're selling the house for uh, zero dollars. So that's almost like an implicit offer if you want to count it like that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and because you look at that, this this algorithm, if you have the correct data structure, is going to take all V plus E because, well, I mean, we'll show. Um, so that's why you don't even, like if that's your idea, that's your concept off your head, you don't have to look at the constraints because that's going to be the size of your input. And if this is the size of your input, that you can't do really better than the size of your input, really, um, because you have to read the input in. And that's just some funky binary search one, but then you're not given the whole input. In any case, yeah, so this is my whole code. Um, so best sub i is going to be the max amount of money that we can make between... Uh, it's the, 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 between... Technically, it's the space between... The first house, which is the civil space, if you want to call it that, and not the civil house. Uh, so civil space and the I space, right? Maybe call it backyard or something. I don't know. Uh, and of course, uh, civil space and the I space contains all houses. Um, uh, between uh, all houses i minus one inclusive right so basically what i mean by that is that uh best of zero is always going to be zero because it, it represents how much money you have for no houses and 
So um, the index of one is if you sold the first house, basically, right? Um, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm making a, a, a uh, making this a point because I think it's very easy to conflate the space and the house uh, often. But if you have a clear idea there, then you won't get off by once. And I say this because I got off by one in the contest. So yeah. Uh, the way that I set up is that, you know, like I said, I set up the best and then here I'm setting up the edges and b because we don't want to look up this this offer every time for every node, uh, here we only basically connect the nodes in which it's connected to. So, and of course, like I said, I have a DAG, so I'm just going to process it like a DAG, so it's a one directional edge. And for me, I just, because A and B are inclusive, I forget what the uh, start and end is inclusive. So I just exclusive on the left because so that you don't sell the same house more than once. You could kind of say it in English by kind of looking into this part. That's why I have the reference. And that's basically the entire DP. This is pretty standard. This is pretty fundamental for longest path in a DAG. Definitely recommend it for competitive. You need to know this for competitive. For interviews, you probably should know it because this is probably one of the more uh, straightforward DPs, dynamic programming, so yeah. Um, so this is basically for the implicit edge of selling uh, house I, oh no, yeah, house I plus one, no, house I, yeah. House I, you sell it for zero, right? So sell house I for zero. And this is the offer, sell house uh, P to I for W. That's basically the idea, uh, yeah. And this is for every edge. And you know there are two for loops, and you may be like, oh yeah, so why is in this ten to the fifth square, right? Well, because this is this only happens. We only have one edge for every edge in the input. So that means that this will only the summation of all these edges is going to be at most ten to the fifth. And this obviously is also ten to the fifth. So, so yeah. So it doesn't actually. It's not a you know a thing. For example, if if you have five uh, nodes and five edges, and you know it, it can only be something like you know one one three, so it sums to five, but you will not get five on every every loop here. So that's why amortize and in total in aggregate is going to be linear time, linear space uh, on the number of offers. Technically, it's slightly w worse because if you remember my Q two went. N is not the input size, N is actually the uh, the input, right? The input is not the input size because this is just a number. So in, in some way, this is exponential. So, uh, but I'm not going to get into that for this problem. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, and you could watch me solve it live in the contest now. How is this not the right answer though? Okay. I mean, I spent so long because I just wasn't confident. I knew that was how, well, that's what I thought. I think the, the slow constraints, they try to fool you and it worked. So, good job. Offer start and, okay. Okay. To n, n is 10 to the fifth. Be inclusive, right? So one a minus one. Okay, fine. Let's do a plus one. Then um,
Yeah, that group turned it the other way. Right. Mm. 3 and 10, that's not right. Did I misunderstand this one? No. Hmm. Maybe I'm off by one. The way I write it is very weird. Oh, zero, zero. So that's. Oh, this is W. Why do I have C? Uh, that's what I get for changing variable names. Oh, this is still wrong though, so fix it first, Larry. <laughs> uh, okay, so zero, zero is one. Uh, so two is two. This should be two. No, is it? Oh no, this is two, that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm off by one on something silly. I think. Okay, so this is exclusive. Right, so yeah. Oh, this is this plus one, that's why. Because, yeah, okay. Eh, please don't make the same mistake. Okay. Yeah. Just being very careful this today. Been a lot of silly mistakes lately. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem, this contest, and everything in between. Uh, let me know how you did. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.